Junction, River City next stop. You're crazy with the heat. Credit's no good for a notion, salesman. For? Why not? What's the matter with credit? Why, it's old fashioned. Charlie, you're an anvil salesman. Your firm give credit? No, sir. Nor anybody else. River City, River City next. Cash for the merchandise. Cash for the button hooks. Cash for the cotton goods. Cash for the hard goods. Cash for the soft goods. Cash for the fancy goods. Cash for the noggins and the piggins and the firkins. Cash for the hogshead cask and demijohn. Cash for the crackers and the pickles and the fly pig. Look, we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk. When do you get it? We talk. You can talk, you can talk. You can bicker, you can talk. You can bicker, bicker, bicker. You can talk, you can talk, you can talk. Talk, 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 bicker, bicker, bicker. You can talk all you wanna, but it's different than it was. No, it ain't, no, it ain't. But you gotta know the territory. Why some Model T Ford made the trouble, made the people wanna go. Wanna get, wanna get, wanna get up and go. 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 22, 23 miles to the county seat. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Who's gonna patronize a little bitty 2 by 4 kind of store anymore? Where you talk, where you talk, where do you get it? Not the Model T at all, take a gander at the store, at the margin store, at the present day store, at the present day margin departmentalized grocery store. Where you talk, 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 where do you get it? Where you talk, where you talk, where you talk, where do you get it? You can talk, you can bicker, you can talk, you can bicker, you can talk, 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 bicker, 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 you can talk all you wanna, but it's different than it was. No, it ain't, but you gotta know the territory. Why, you see, you need a biscuit, made the trouble, you need a, you need a, put the Crackers in the package in the package. Do you need a biscuit in an airtight sanitary package? Made the cracker barrel obsolete, 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 obsolete. Cracker barrel went out the window with the mail pouch cup plugged Tom by the stove. Changed the approach of the traveling salesman. Made it pretty hard. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. But you gotta know the territory. Gone, gone. Gone with the hog's head cask and demijohn. Gone with the sugar barrel pickle and the milk. Then gone with the tub and the pail and the tears. Ever meet a fellow by the name of Hill? Hill? Hill. Hill? 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 No! Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute! Never heard any salesman hill! Now he doesn't know the territory. Doesn't know the territory. What's a fella's line? Never worries about his line. <laughs> Never worries about his line. Or the cracker barrel being obsolete. Or you need a biscuit in an airtight sanitary package or the Model T Ford. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute! Never worries about his line. Never worries about his line. Or a doggone thing. He's just a bang, the bell ring and big hall. Break your neck and up the rip row and every time the bull lies still. That's the best around. What's his line? He's a fake and he doesn't know the territory. Look, we you talk, we you talk, we you talk, we you talk. He's a music man. He's a what? He's a what? He's a music man and he sells clarinets to the kids in the town with the big trombones and the rapid cat drums and the big brat fish, big brat fish. And the pickle of the pickle of uniform stew with a shiny gold braid on the coat and a big red stripe run. Well, I don't know much about bands, but I do know you can't make a living selling big trombones. No, sir. Mandolin picks, perhaps, and here and there are Jews hot. No, oh, the fellow sells bands, boys' bands. I don't know how he does it, but he lives like a king, and he dallies, and he gathers, and he plucks, and he shines, and when the man dances, certainly, boys, what else? The piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When the man dances, certainly, boys, what else? The piper pays him. Yes, yes, sir! Yes, sir! But he doesn't know the territory! Oh. Oh. <coughs> oh.
River City, River City, River City. We're just across the state line into Iowa. River City, population 2,212. Oh, <laughs> cigarettes illegal in this state, mister. All right, if you're all through, I'll tell you about Harold Hill. You really know Harold Hill? Never seen him in my life before, but I can tell you this much. He's given every one of us a black eye. After he's worked the town over, the next salesman to arrive automatically gets tarred and feathered and rode out to the city limits on a rail. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 you, you think it's funny? Well, wait till it happens to you. Your hair never grows back. And why exactly should he be run out of town on a rail? Because in order to sell band instruments and uniforms and instruction books, he has to guarantee to teach the kids how to play. Well? And to form them kids into a band with himself as a leader. What's wrong with that? He don't know one note from another. That's what's wrong with that. And he can't tell a bass drum from a pipe organ. I'll catch up with that swindling two-bit thimble rig and when I do, I'll squeal on him <laughs> so loud. Wow, you're mad, Charlie. Sure like to be around when he catch up with that fella. Well, I won't be on this trip. Not in Iowa. Even the great Professor Harold Hill wouldn't try to sell them neck-bowed Hawkeyes out here. Bork! Gentlemen, you intrigue me. I think I ought to give Iowa a try. Don't believe I caught your name. Bertha's dead. She wouldn't have come anyway. We can be cold as a falling thermometer in December if you ask about our weather in July. And we're so by God's summer we can send touching noses for a week at a time and never see our two Yes, I'm interested in hiring a rig for Sunday, if you can accommodate me. Well, then I expect you ought to find the man in charge of hiring rigs. 
Who's late as usual? Hey, Gregory. Marcellus? Greg? <laughs> <laughs> you old son of a gun! Shh, Professor Hill's the name, Harold Hill. But, Greg, what are you doing here? Why didn't you tell me you was coming? Didn't know I was myself. Besides, how could I have known you'd end up in a little tank town like this, huh? Pretty big slicker when you were in the business with me. Too many close shaves the way you work. Besides, I got me a nice, comfortable girl. Ethel Tolfemeyer, boss's niece. Gone legitimate, huh? I knew you'd come to no good. So what's the new pitch? la dee da dee da dee da dee da Oh no, Greg, don't tell me you got back into the band business. I thought you was in steam automobiles. I was. What happened? Somebody actually invented one. No! Yeah. So uh, give me the low down here, Mars. We'll never get anywhere in the band business with these stubborn Iowans, Greg. Besides, we got a stuck-up music teacher here that'll expose you before you can even get your grip unpacked. Male or female? Music teacher? She's a librarian. Female. Perfect. Just thought I wanted to hear. She comes around, point her out to me. I will. So how are you gonna start the pitch? Same old way. Keep that music teacher off balance, and then my next step will be to get your town out of the serious trouble it's in. But River City isn't in any trouble. Then I'll have to create some. I have to create a desperate need for a boys band, you remember? So, uh, what's new around here? What can I use? Nothing. Oh, except the uh, billiard parlor just got a new pool table. They've never had a pool table here before? No, only billiards. That'll do. See you later, Mars. And remember, music teacher. Music teacher, got it. Yeah. Oh, you Mr. Dunlop? Either you're closing your eyes to a situation you don't wish to acknowledge, or you are not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friend. Right here I say trouble, right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm a billiard player, certainly mighty proud to say it. I'm always mighty proud to say it. I consider that the hours I spend with the cue in my hand are golden. How be called a bit horse sense with a cool head and a keen eye. Did you ever take and try to give an ironclad leave for yourself from a three rail billiard shot? But just as I say, it takes judgment, brains, and maturity to score on a ball blind game. I say that any boo can take and shove a ball in a pocket. And I call that slaw the first big step on the road to the depths of day. I say first is a little of medicinal wine from a teaspoon, then beer from a bottle. And the next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pinchback suit and listening to some big out of town Jasper. You to tell him all about horse race gambling. Not a wholesome trotting race, no, but a race where they sit down right on the horse. Like to see some stuck up jockey boy sitting on Dan Patch make blood boil. Well, I should say. Now, friends, let me tell you what I mean. You got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets at a table. Pockets that mark the difference between a gentleman and a bum with a capital B and that rhymes with B and that stands for pool. And all week long, your river city youth will be frittering away. I say your young men will be frittering. Frittering away there, noon time, supper time, chore time too. Get the ball in the pocket, never mind getting dandelions pulled to the screen door patch till the beefsteak found it. Never mind pumping any water until your parents are caught with a cistern every on a Saturday night, and that's trouble. Yes, you got lots and lots of trouble. I'm thinking of the kids in the knickerbocker, sure tell young ones. Peeking in the pool hall window after school, you got trouble. Folks right here in River City. Jump with a capital T and that rise with D and that stands for pool. Now I know all you folks are the right kind of parents. I'm gonna be perfectly frank. Would you like to know what kind of conversation goes on with a loafing around that hall? Maybe trying out Vivo, trying out Cubas, trying out tailor maids like cigarette fiends, and bragging all about how they're gonna cover up a telltale breath with sunset one fine night. They leave the pool hall, headed for the dance of the army, libertine men, and scarlet women, and ragtime, shameless music that'll grab your son, your daughter with the arms of the jungle, animal instinct, mass stereo. Friends, the adult brain is the devil's playground. Trouble, oh, we got trouble. Right, here right here in River City. With a capital T, and that rhymes with P, and that stands for pool. That stands for pool. We surely got trouble. We surely got trouble. Right here in River City. Right here. Gotta figure out a way to keep the young ones moral after school. Our children's children's gonna have trouble. trouble, trouble, trouble. Mothers of River City. Heed that warning before it's too late. Watch for the telltale signs of corruption. The minute your son leaves the house, does he rebuckle his knickerbockers below the knee? Is there a nicotine stain on his index finger? A dime novel hidden in the corn crib? Does he start to memorize jokes from Cat and Billy's whiz bang? Or certain words creeping into his conversation? Words like, 
swell. Trouble! And so is your old man. Trouble! Well, so, my friends, you got trouble. Oh, we got trouble. Right here in River City. Right here in River City. With a capital T and that rise with P and that stands for pool. That stands for pool. We surely got trouble. We surely got trouble. Right here in River City. Right here. Remember the main Plymouth Rock and the Golden Rule. My children's children's gonna have trouble. Oh, we got trouble. We're in terrible, terrible trouble. That game with the 15 numbered balls is the devil's tool. The devil's tool. Oh, yes, we got trouble, trouble, trouble. Oh, yes, we got trouble. Here we got big, big trouble. With a T. We got no T. We got a rhyming with P. A rhyming with P. That's it for pool. That's it for pool. Town a short while. Good. I'll be there in a minute. Hello, Mama. Fine, dear. Now your exercises. Yes, ma'am. I don't remember the library being open last Fourth of July. It was, Mama, all evening. Mama. A man with a suitcase has been following me all over town. Oh? Who? I never saw him before. Did he say anything? He tried. Did you say anything? Mama, of course not. Now don't dawdle, Amaryllis. So do la re ti me a little slower, and please keep the fingers curved as nice and high as you possibly can. Don't get faster, dear. If you don't mind my saying so, it wouldn't have hurt to find out what the gentleman wanted. I know what the gentleman wanted. What, dear? You'll find it in Balzac. Excuse me for living, but I've never read it. Neither has anyone else in this town. There you go again with that same old comment about the low mentality of River City people and taking it all too much to heart. Now, Mama, as long as the Madison Public Library was entrusted to me for the purpose of improving River City's cultural level, I can't help my concern that the ladies of River City keep ignoring all my counsel and advice. But darling, when a woman has a husband and you've got none, why should she take advice from you? Even if you can quote balls, second Shakespeare, and all the mother highfalutin Greeks. Mama, if you don't mind my saying so, you have a bad habit of changing every subject. Now I haven't changed the subject. I was talking about that stranger. What stranger? With a suitcase who may be your very last chance. Mama, do you think that I'd allow a common master now? Really, Mama, I have my standards where men are concerned, and I have no intention. I know all about your standards, and if you don't mind my saying so, there's not a man alive who could hope to measure up to that blend of Paul Bunyan, St. Pat, and Noah Webster. You can count it for yourself. Out of your Irish imagination, your eye was stubbornness, and your library full of books. <laughs> Well, if that isn't the best I've ever heard. Thank you. Can I have a drink, please? May I have a May drink? May I have a drink, please? Yes, dear.
Winthrop? It's after dark. Is that any way to walk into the house? Hello. Oh, that won't do at all. I'll have a kiss for my boy. Ah, huh? the lady of there's your sister, young man. Hello, Winthrop. Winthrop, where are your manners? Hello. I'm having a party on Saturday. Will you please come? I would especially like it very much if you'd come, Winthrop. Well, Winthrop, Amaryllis is at your party. Are you going to aren't you? No. No what? No, thank you. You know the little girl's name? He won't say Amaryllis because of the S, because of his lisp. He's ashamed. We all know about his lisp, Amaryllis. Winthrop? I bet he won't say it. No, thank you, Amaryllis. <laughs> Amaryllis. 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 He's crying. Why does he get so mad at people just because he lisps? It's not only because he lisps. That's just a part of it, Amaryllis. Well, what's the other part? Never mind, dear. It's just that he never talks very much. Not even to you and your mother? No, dear. We all have to be a little patient. I am patient, even though he doesn't talk to me. But I do him every night. I say goodnight to him on the evening star. You have to do it the very second you see it too, or it doesn't count. Good night, my Winthrop. Good night. Sleep tight. There, darling, don't cry. You have lots of time. If not Winthrop, there'll be someone else. Never. I'll end up an old maid like you. I'm sorry, Miss Marion. Can I play my crosshand piece? May I play? May I play my crosshand piece? You may. See, if you've got no sweetheart, you've known to say goodnight to on the evening star. I know, Amaryllis. For the time being, just say goodnight, my someone. You can put the name in when the right someone comes along. All right. It's better than nothing, I guess. Yes, it is. Now you can play your crosshand piece. Now I may play my crosshand piece. Dreams be your worst ear if dreams. 
white and blue When born by the red, white and blue When born by the red, white and blue Thy banners may tyranny tremble I'm sure we're all grateful to my wife, Eulalia McKechnie Shin, for leading the singing, and to J.C. Squires for his fine Steroptican slides, and to Ethel Toffelmeyer, our fine player piano, player piano. As mayor of River City, I would like to welcome you River Citizens to our 4th of July exercises, one of our town's proudest traditions. <clears throat> Four score! <laughs> of the school board will now present a patriotic tableau. The members of the school board will not present a patriotic tableau. Some disagreement about costumes, I presume. I told you not to write that. Why would you write that down? You Instead, the ladies of the River City Historical Society will present an original play reenacting the settlement of a great municipality. In puppet form? Once upon a time, Sir Riverton III and his right-hand man, Sir Crick, set off to find a new place to call home for his kingdom. Tis I, Sir Riverton III, I shall set off to find us a magnificent home. Oh, we believe in you, Your Majesty! Who set off that firecracker? I know who did it. It was Tommy Gillis. It was Tommy Gillis. Tommy Gillis, I will leave with the ice cream. Tommy Gillis, We'll recover. No thanks to a certain young ruffian who is a disgrace to our city. Four score and seven. The Payne's Fireworks Spectacle, Last Days of Pompeii, will take place providing the weather holds out until 9.30. It'll be out to Madison Picnic Park in the far meadow, across the creek from the pest house. How could it be rainy? Didn't the Gazette predict fair? Sure did, you were. That's why we all prepared for a storm. The Gazette is accurate most of the time, and you know it, Oh, Jesse. you wouldn't last very long in the bank of business. Look at the weather. 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 Look at She's late, all right. She's right on time. So what do we want? We are in a little head. You can't tell us about it. Are you late right now? You're late right now. Members of the school board stop bickering in public. All in the world that I said was. Never mind. Boys. We are at the pool table in town. Yeah, the pool table. Oh, the pool table. Is it a pool table, or isn't it? We don't want any more exercises until this pool table matter is settled. Yeah. Protect our children. Yeah. yeah. Resist sin and corruption. Yeah. Love that devil and keep our young boys pure. Yeah. Friends, may I have your attention, please? Attention, please. I can deal with this trouble, friends, with the wave of my hand, this very hand. Please observe me, if you will. I'm Professor Harold Hill, and I'm here to organize a River City Boys Band. 
Oh, think, my friends, how could any pool table ever hope to compete with a gold trombone? Ra, 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 da, da, ra, ra. Remember, my friends, what a head full of trumpet players did to the famous fabled walls of Jericho. Oh, billiard parlor walls come a tumbling down. Oh, a band will do it, my friends. Oh, yes, I mean a boy's band, do you hear me? I say, River City's gotta have her boy's band, and I mean she needs it today. While Professor Harold Hill's on hand, River City's gotta have her boy's band. And sure as the Lord made little green apples, and that band's gonna be in uniform. Johnny, Willie, Teddy, Fred! And you'll see the glimmer of crashing cymbals, and hear the thunder of rolling drums, the shiver of trumpets, ta da da and you'll feel something akin to the electric thrill I once enjoyed when Gilmore, Liberati, Pat Conway, the great creator, W.C. Handy, and John Philip Sousa all came to town on the very same historic day. 76 trombones led the big parade with 110 cornets close at hand. They were followed by rows and rows of the finest virtuosos, the cream of every famous band. 76 trombones caught the morning sun with 110 cornets close behind. There were more than a thousand reeds springing up like weeds. There were horns of every shape and kind. There were copper bottom timpani and horse platoon. Thundering, thundering all along the way. Double bell euphoniums and big bassoons. Each bassoon having his big fat say. There were 50 mounted cannon in the battery. Thundering, thundering louder than before. Clarinets of every size and trumpeters who did provide the full octave higher than the sky. Seventy-six trombones take the counterpoint, while hundred and ten cornets blaze away. All the kids began to march, and the marching still rides
Action. That man is a spellbinder. I haven't seen Iowa people get this excited since tonight. Frank Gotch and Stringer Lewis lay in the map for three and a half hours without moving a muscle. Never mind. I want the spellbinder's credentials. Grab that with them. You almost blew up Mrs. Sheen. Thank you, Professor. Gotta make an example out of him. Regular type he is, what he does, the gang does. Hey, Hunt, let me go. You up, kid, you Hang around my oldest girl. His father was one of them day laborers of south of town. You out, kid, you Tagging down Main Street after my oldest girl last Sunday. I wasn't either tagging. Don't you counterdict me. We was just walking together. Great honk. You watch your phraseology. I know what you was doing. My little girl seen you. Now you stay away from my oldest girl, or you're here for me to who laid the rails. Hill, I'll talk to you Monday morning over at City Hall, 10 o'clock sharp about that band thing. Men, I want that spellbinder's credentials. <laughs> Constable, I'll be responsible for the boy. Oh, you don't know him. He's a tough one, and he's got his gang waiting outside. Oh, I'll be careful. Tommy, I'd like to talk to you about the band. Oh, gee, Professor. That's for the little kids. No, no, no. I'm not talking about you playing in the band. You're mechanically minded, aren't you? Ever do anything with perpetual motion? <sighs> Nearly had it a couple times. You did? Well, you're my man. Do you realize that no one's invented a music holder for a marching piccolo player? No place to hang the music. Great honk. I wonder where I could get some wire from. Try your cellar. That's where people keep wire. Oh, Tommy! Yes, sir? Constable, I'll show you how to break up a gang. Oh, young lady. Oh, miss. What's your name? Sunita. I have any idea you was beckoning to me. You gods! Do you know Tommy Gilas? Well, I... Tommy, this is Sunita. Escort the young lady home. Only except I'm not going home. I have to go to the library. Then escort the young lady home way of library. Way of candy kitchen. Yes, sir. Do I have to? You have to. Yes, sir. Ye gods! You're a bright young fellow, Professor, but you made a couple mistakes. Oh? That billiards parlor, the mayor owns it, and the new pool table, too. Oh, uh, and what was my other mistake? That's Anita. That's the mayor's oldest girl. Oh, Professor Hill, we have some questions about the day at uniform. Yes, I'll do time if you'll excuse me. Just a minute, <laughs> Professor Hill. We need your credentials with the school board. Academic certificates. Nothing of the kind. The papers and letters. Make him put up a bond. What am I hearing? <laughs> Say, ice cream. Ice cream. But I don't sing, young man, if that's what you're saying. All right, all right. Talk then. Down here. Ice cream. Talk slow. Ice cream. You see, singing is only sustained talking. Now you. Ice cream. Now you ride in. Ice cream. Now you, sir. Ice cream. Ladies, from now on, you will never see one of those men without the other three. Why, Professor, you're wrong. Those men have hated each other for 15 years. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. <laughs> How can there be any sin in sincere? Where is the good in goodbye? Bye. Uh -huh.
single star shines above. and Miss Fillmore. Oh, and of course, you know Eulalie McKechnie Shin, the mayor's wife. Isn't it exciting, Eulalie? Oh, I couldn't say. I could not say. I simply could not say at this time. My husband will wish to investigate, I'm sure, and naturally I'm reticent. Oh, yes, I'm reticent. Why, of course, Mrs. Shin, I understand. You see, part of my musical plans includes a dance of the committee. No, oh, no, do that again, Mrs. Shin. Goodness. Your foot, the way you raised it just now. Oh, I have a bunion there that bothers me sometimes, and when I move it like so, it just... Oh, what grace! What natural flow of rhythm. What expression of line and movement. Oh, Mr. Hill! Oh, you lady! You must accept the chairmanship for the ladies' auxiliary for the classic dance, mustn't she, ladies? Yes, yes Lily. Yes, oh my gosh! Every move you make bespeaks Del Sart. Will you? Will you? Say yes, Mrs. Shin. You lay, leave a keck shin. Well, I just, I couldn't, and dancing, well. Then you accept? Yes, indeed. And I would like to Thank say. Thank you. Now, the young lady who plays piano, Mary in Peru, I believe. <gasps> After all, she is a librarian. Pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, cheap, 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 talk a lot, pick a little more, pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, cheap, 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 talk a lot, pick a little more, pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, cheap, 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 talk a lot, pick a little more, pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, cheap, 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 Professor, her kind of woman doesn't belong in a committee. Of course, I shouldn't tell you this, but she advocates dirty books. Dirty books. Chaucer. Rabelais. Cheep, 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 cheep. And the worst thing, of course, I shouldn't tell you this, but I'll tell. The man lived on my street, let me tell. Stop! I'll tell. She made brazen and overtures to a man who never had a friend in this town until she came along. Old Miser Madison. Miser Madison. Madison Gymnasium. Madison Picnic Park. Madison Hospital. That Miser Madison? Exactly. Who do you think he was anyway? Well, I should say. Show off. Gave the town the library too, didn't he? Well, you see, that's just the thing. When he died, he left the library building to the city, but... Left all the books to her. Who ever heard of such a thing? She was seen coming and going from his place. Oh yes, oh yes, that woman made breeze in the with a little, 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 little gilt She had a golden glint in her eye and a silver voice with a cap of ring. Just melt her down and you'll reveal a lump as lead as cold as steel. Here, where a woman's heart should be. He left River City, the library building, but he left all the books to her. Chaucer, Rabelais, Cheep, 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 Just a minute here, Professor. I'll pick a little more. We need your credentials. Why, of course I have. Just what you need over the hotel. Come with me. Take a lot. Pick a little more. Pick a little. Talk a little. Pick a little. Good night, ladies. Cheep, 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 cheep. Pick a little. Talk a little. Pick a little. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Take a lot. Pick a little more. Pick a little. Talk a little. Pick a little. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Take a lot. Pick a little more. Pick a little. Talk a little. Pick a little. Cheep, cheep, cheep
off, pick a little more, 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 pick a
No bright-eyed, blushing, breathless baby doll baby. No, sir, that kind of child that dies. Not so. No sailor ever knew. I prefer to take a chance on a more adult romance. No do a young miss who keeps resisting all the time she keeps insisting. No wide-eyed, wholesome, innocent female. No, sir, she's the fisherman. I'm the fish you'll see. Plop. I flinch, I shy, when the last with a delicate air walks by. I smile, I grin, with a gal with a touch of sin walks in. I hope and I pray for Esther to win just one more ray. The sadder but wiser girl's a girl for me. The sadder but wiser girl for me. It's all right. I know everything and it doesn't make a difference. What are you talking about? You were probably very young. Anyone can make a mistake. What? No apologies and no explanations, please. I'll only be in town a short while and well, the sadder but wiser girl for me. Will you please make your selection and leave? I have. Well, what would you like to take out? The librarian. Quiet, please. The librarian. You're not listening, Marion. Look. Marion. Marbles. Six Sealies, eight Aggies, a dozen Peewees, and one big glassy with an American flag in the middle. I think I'll drop them! No! Shh, shh, shh. Madam Librarian. What can I do? My dear, to catch your beer. I love you madly, madly, Madam Librarian. Marion, heaven help us if the library caught on fire and the volunteer hose brigade men had to whisper the news to Marion. Madam Librarian. What can I say in here to make it clear? I need you badly, badly, Madam Librarian. Marion, if I stumbled and I busted my what you would call it, I could lie on your floor unnoticed till my body had turned to Rian. Madam Librarian. Now in the moonlight, a man could sing it, in the moonlight. And a fellow would know that his darling had heard every word of his song with the moonlight, helping along. When I try in here to tell you, dear, I love you madly, madly, Madam Librarian. Marion, it's a long lost cause. I can never win what a civilized world accepts as unforgivable sin. And he talking out loud with any librarian, such as Marion. Madam Librarian. Thank you. 
Librarian, Marion, it's a long lost cause I can never win. What a civilized world accepts as unforgivable sin. And he's talking out loud with any librarian, such as Marion. The dance committee meets Tuesday night. Marshmallow, Madam Librarian. Well, Tommy, we've had a pretty good morning. Eleven sales out of the twelve tries. Tell you what, oh, it's almost noon. How about you go home and get some dinner? I'll try a couple by myself. Goodbye, Professor. Thanks, Tommy. <gasps> now, just a minute. Are you soliciting? You haven't got a license. Why, uh, no, Mr. Mayor, I collect doorbells. This particular specimen has an unusual tone of quality that you just yeah, can't find flattery will not avail you. Soliciting is statutory in this county. Malfeasance without a permit. Why haven't you been down to City Hall with your bygone references? Just missed you, I... Oh, Mr. Mayor. Your hand, oh no. What? What? The spread of the little finger. It's hereditary. Oh, it is? What does it mean? It means that your son's little finger is perfectly situated to operate the spit valve on a B-flat flugelhorn. Is that good? Good. It means that at last America has produced an artist who can flugel the minute waltz in 50 seconds. How can I get one of those horns? Sign here. That will be $17 import fee. Yes, sir. Just to think that I could have missed this whole... I haven't got any son. You once. Gripulous, you flew by night, you you won't fly you must you you ah! You must be down to City Hall with your bygone references at three o'clock Do you mean this afternoon? I couldn't make myself any plainer if I was a Quaker on his day <laughs> Miss Peru, do you realize you have the facial characteristics of a cornet virtuoso? I'm not sure I understand you entirely, Professor. If your son has that same firm chin, and those splendid cheek muscles by Georgie... Well, not that he could ever really be great, you understand. Oh? And in the name of St. Bridget's, why not? Well, you see, all really great cornet players were Irish. O Clark, O Menendez, O Boyle, O But Klein, Professor, o we're not Irish! No! No, really? That clenches it. Sign here, Miss Peru. Your boy was born to play the cornet. Fine, fine. And nothing more due until the first installment payable at the opening of band practice. <clears throat> oh, thank you, and I'll need the boy's measurements for his band uniform. His uniform? Hello there. Certainly is uniform, and not a penny due to delivery, which gives him four weeks to enjoy, to anticipate, to imagine, at no cost whatever. 
Never let the demands of tomorrow interfere with the pleasures and excitement of today. Will there be a... Oh, a stripe? Certainly, my boy. A wide red stripe down each side. What do you think of that? You must excuse Winthrop, Professor. We can't get him to say three words even to us. But if you can get him to play in the band, why, you'll have St. Michael's own way with you. But if anybody can do it, I'll bet you can. Why, out of a crowd of people, I take you for a hot carrying, clay pipe smoking, shamrock wearing, harp playing, Mavornian pitching, Tana Hall and Minstrel singing Irishman. Be gobbled, be jabbers. Where are you from, me boy? Gary, Indiana. I knew it! Gary! Where did she? Gary, Indiana. In fact, Gary Conservatory was my alma mater. Oh, was she now? Oh, well, yes, gold medal class of about five. How do you do, Miss Peru? Mr. Hill. Oh, Peru! I thought the name sounded familiar. I tried to see you since the other night. He worshipped with Winthrop in the band! We're not interested, Mr. Mama. Marian, the boy might have his father's musical talent. He does have my jaw, you know. Your husband, musical, I'd like to talk with him, I'm sure we Do you burst in on everyone's home like this, prying into personal affairs? We're not interested. Marian! Well, that's one for and one against. Why not let the boy's father decide? The boy's father is dead! Oh. Anything else? I'm sorry. That's all the reason why your brother should have My something like this. My brother is a ten-year-old problem child who can't understand why his father was taken away. Would you care to explain it to him? He's been brooding about it for two years. As to your musical tricks, why don't you go into business with some nice carnival man who sells gold-painted watches and glass diamond rings? Musical tricks, why, Miss Marion, I hardly... I get the feeling she likes the idea. A little cautious, perhaps, but I admire that in a woman. Just keep me alive and I'll be back later in the week. Professor, wait! About the boys' measurements, I make all of his clothing. Sleeve 21, waist 18, crotch 14. Fine, that's all I need. Now I must get back to my hotel. Professor! You must excuse Marion, she's not really- Oh, please. I'm sure that at heart she's as lovely as yourself. Good day to you, Widow Peru. Has he gone? He has, and I hope not forever. Darlin, don't you ever think about your future? Gary and Anna, conservation class about Darlin, now please. Now, Mama, surely a girl's future doesn't depend on encouraging every fast-talking, self-centered, woman-chasing, traveling man that comes to town. And the fact that he claims his commodity is music does not, in this particular case, impress me. All right. Only it's a well-known fact that if you keep your flint in one drawer and your steel in the other, you'll never strike much of a fire. Mama! Winthrop! Winthrop, I know you're there! Please go to the library and ask Miss Grubb for the book I set aside. It's the Indiana State Educational Journal, 1890 to 1910. It's a large brown volume with black corners. Do I have to? You won't have to talk to anyone. I've written it all down. Thank you, dear. Now what are you doing? What do you need books for at this hour of night? I have a feeling the Indiana Journal might help me poke some large holes in the professor's claims. Well, I give up. And if you don't mind my asking, at your age, what kind of white knight do you expect to come riding along anyways? Well, I'm not waiting for Luther Griner, who backs me into the ancient history shelf every time he comes into the library. He does? Or Ed Gamage in that buggy of his with the removable back seat. But I'm not waiting for a man in shining white armor either. My white knight, not a Lancelot, nor an angel with wings, just someone to love me. A straightforward. 
good and honest man to sit with me in a cottage somewhere in the state of Iowa, and I would like him to be more interested in me than he is in himself and more interested in us than in me. And if occasionally he'd ponder what makes Shakespeare and Beethoven great, him I could love till I die. Him I could love till I die. what I said. First the lumber yard, and now the footbridge. And where will you meet me after that? Hmm? In the black hole of Calcutta, ye gods! I only want to show you my invention. What invention? The music order for a marching piccolo player. It still has a couple minor flaws, see? When you keep it tight enough to hold the music steady, you lose, you lose circulation and can't wiggle your fingers. Meanwhile, you go blind. Tommy, it's Papa! Is that the first thing I said or not? Yes, George. Yes! The very first thing I said or I'll eat hay with the horse. Get the spellbinder's credentials, I said, morning of July 4th, 19 and 12. And now look, my wife is off dancing at any and all hours instead of in the home. But George... The school board is saying up the street and down alley instead of tending to city matters. My oldest girl is off boodling around with some wild kid, and my business has fallen off so far I can't find the balance sheet. Mayor Shin, I found something very interesting in this book about Professor Hill's alma mater. His who? His university. Oh, I know all about that. In fact, that's the only thing I can ever seem to get out of him. Gary Conservatory, class of Op 5. If you'll just take time to read about the conservatory, I don't think you'll have to look further. It's on page... Papa! The Wells Fargo wagon is just coming up from the depot! A likely story. At this hour of the day... The Wells Fargo wagon? It could be the band instruments! The band instruments?! Oh, the Wells Fargo wagon is a coming down the street a ways let it be for me. Oh, the Wells Fargo wagon is a coming down the street. I wish, I wish I knew what it could be. I hope I get my raisins from Fresno! No, but do 
are sent to cannon for the courthouse square. Oh, the wealth of Fargo acting is a hoot and down. I don't know how I could ever wait to It could be something for someone who is no related, but it could be something special just for me. Oh, the wealth of Fargo acting is a hoot Kids, there will be individual instruction in due course. In the meantime, stay off the streets, get acquainted with your instruments, and think about the minuet in G. La di da di da di da di da. Sister, sister, isn't this the most scrumptious solid gold thing ever saw? I never saw to see anything as scrumptious as this scrumptious solid gold thing. Oh, sister. Round one for you, Mr. Hill. But I better hear some by got tootin' out of them horns in pretty short order, or I'll see you in front of the grand jury over on county seat. Now, Miss Marion, about that book. Come, George, Tempest Fugits. You watch your phraseology. Get along if you want to. I've gotta get something from the librarian. Now, about that book. The dance committee meets Tuesdays. They're counting on you. It's you all the way into town. It's your sweet hello, dear. That sets me up And it's your gosh to go, dear That gets me down It's you on my pillow In all of my dreams Till once more the morning breaks through could be saner or truer or plainer than it's you it's you She will never get sore at a way to supper. 
Take your hands off my daughter! Mr. Shin, Your Honor, your daughter and I have been going steady behind your back. Why, you? We'd rather do it in front of your back, but... Do what? Never mind. Your daughter's scared of you, but I'm not. And I should hate to think you'd have your own daughter scared of you. Great honk! I'm gonna warn you once more. 
If I ever catch you touching my daughter again, I'll buy God horse whip you to hell and have it again. Now, George! Not one poop out of you, madam. <laughs> <laughs> I think she means peep. Yes! Now get out of my city this instant. I have as much right to be here as anybody. Right? How do you get any right around here? Aiding and abetting the swindling activities of this spellbinding symbol salesman? You know what I see written all over you? Reform school. Now get out! Get out, you wild kid! Papa, please! It's Capulets like you make fun of the marketplace! You gods! You watch your phraseology, young woman. Go home! All of you, everyone, get out of here! Go home! You lady. Yes, George, I only... You tend to your dance. My dance? All handles, Anita. Taking up with wild kids from the wrong side of town. Mr. Mayor, if I could just make you understand. Well, you can. And by the way, thanks for nothing. I read that book you gave me from cover to cover for a whole week now and didn't find a thing. Mr. Mayor, if you please. I'll handle your hash as soon as I get these premises off of my oldest girl. Yes? All right, but in the meantime, I want you to know that I'm vouching for Tommy g -less. That boy's got the confidence of every kid in town, and you'll be standing in line to shake his hand by the time our band plays its first concert. By the time your band plays its first concert, the individual members have to foregather in wheelchairs on account of the broken legs they'll receive from tripping over their beards. Now I'll tell you something, my fine young feathered... My feathered young... Ah, never mind. Oliver, JC, you are only... I want that man's credentials, and I want him tonight. Don't let him out of your sight. He's slippier than a Mississippi sturgeon. Do you mean you want us to get his credentials? <laughs> Can I get his papers or get him in jail? I can make myself any clearer if I saw biting hook in the well water. Professor Hill, I think Mayor Shin has behaved abominably. And I think it was wonderful of you coming to Tommy's defense. Oh, it was nothing. Yes, it was. Oh, no, no, no. The man can't dodge the issue every time a little bit of personal risk is involved. What does that poet say? The coward dies a thousand deaths. The brave man only five hundred. Of course, the mayor was already pretty mad on account of his billiard parlor, and, well, I assume a musical authority such as yourself would help, but I couldn't ask you to do such a thing like that. Why, Professor Hill? You would? I'd be glad to. I just wish I was a little more informed. I've been wanting to talk to you about Winthrop's cornet. Oh, yes, his cornet. Mother of pearl keys. I'm sure it's fine, but you see, he never touches it. All of the first week or so, he made a few, uh, experimental blats, I guess you'd say. Why, yes, blat! <laughs> and he sings the minuet in G de da almost constantly. La -de -da -de -da -de -da -de -da. But he never touches the cornet. Well, you he says you told him it wasn't necessary. Well, I... He tells me about some think system. If he thinks the minuet in G, then he won't have to bother with the notes. Now, Miss Marion, now the think system is a revolutionary method, I'll admit. So was Galileo's conception of the heavens, Columbus's conception of the globe, and Bach's conception of the well-tempered clavichord. Now, I can't discuss these things in public, but if you allow me to call, when may I call? Why, any night this week. Miss Peru, please join our Just Art Committee. We're so dear tonight, dance at the Chapeau with your friends are Pick a little taco, little taco, little taco. Fairy princess, with a moonbeam for your floor. You have golden shimmer hair and silver shoes for all to see. We know that you will soon unfold. Forgiving heart is purest gold. Here, where a woman's heart should be. Fairy princess. Golden shimmer, silver shoes, now unfold, heart of gold, here where a woman's heart should be. The professor told us to read those books, and we simply adored them all. Chaucer, Rabelais, Chip, 
just a second, Professor Hill. We got our orders. We all been deputized. Yes, congratulations. Uh, let's see now. You know, all week I've been trying to give you fellas my references, but you always seem to get off the subject somehow. I have just what you need over the hotel. Take me a second. Mm, I'm afraid not. I have to go along with you. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see if I have my key. Uh, oh, what is this? A testimonial from Madame Rini, the only female bass platoon player to play at the Red Path Circuit. Her stage name, of course. Actually, she was from Moline. Lighter Rose Quackenbush. Can I say that for a second? Oh, you'll never forget the name. Lighter Rose, same as the old song. <laughs> Lighter Rose, I'm home again, Rose. To get the sun back in the sky. Light a rose, not home again, rose, about a thousand kisses shy. Ding dong ding, I can hear the chapel bell chime. Ding dong ding, at the least suggestion. I'll pop the question. Light a rose, I'm home again, rose, without a sweetheart to my name. Light a rose, now everyone knows that I am hoping you're the same. So here is my love song, not fancy or fun. Light a rose, oh, won't you be? Stop arguing with yourself. Will he ever tell him? Won't you ever tell him? Oh, yes. Oh, no. A oh, fiddlesticks. Just open your mouth and let it come out. No, Mama. No, nothing. And next time he comes to call, you see him alone. And if you haven't the gumption to tell him how you feel... Tell him? There's nothing wrong with a little lady like Hint. Hi, Mama. Winthrop, where have you been? Fishing. Fishing? With Harold. You mean Professor Hill? Mm hmm And look, I still have some worms left. Did you have a good time? Grumpy. He 
told me all about his hometown, Gary, Indiana. And he said he'd take me there someday. He even told me it's on the holidays, and he asses in it. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, let me say it once again. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, that's the town that knew me when. If you like to have a logical explanation, how I happen on this elegant syncopation. I will say without a moment of hesitation, there is just one place that can line my face. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, not Louisiana, Paris, France, New York, go wrong. But Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, my own sweet home. If you like to have a logical explanation, how I happen on this elegant syncopation, <laughs> I will say without a moment of hesitation, there is just one place that can line my face. Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. Not Louisiana, Paris, France, New York, go wrong. But Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. My own sweet home. I'll be back in a minute. I just saw Marillus, my life frog. La dee da dee da dee da dee da. La dee da. Leave the dishes. I'll do them, Mama. Don't you have to change for the sociable? There's time later. Yes? Hi, I'm lost. I was wondering if you could tell me if the Shins live around here somewhere. The Shin home is on East Elm. This is West Elm. Aw, oh, criminy! Hey, I see you're the piano teacher in town. You must know about this fellow Hill forming a boys' band here. Yes. Well, well, don't you let it worry you no more. I got the goods on him in spades. Swindling two-bit symbol rigger. That's why I gotta see Shin. I'm just passing through. Number eight only makes for a 15-minute water. Stop. Wish it was 20. Would sure like to concentrate five minutes on you, girly girl. Who are you? Name's Charlie Cow, anvil salesman. But just now, I'm out to protect the good name of the traveling fraternity from this swindler. Mr. Cowell, you're making a big mistake. Mistake my old lady's corset cover. That fellow's been the raspberry seed in my wisdom tooth just long enough. He spoiled Illinois for me, and he's not going to spoil Iowa. Say, what kind of music teacher are you? You didn't see through him. He's no more professor. I know all about that. Band leaders are always called professor. It's a harmless deception. He's a fine director, and his scholastic- Now, wait a minute. Fine director. Have you heard one note of music from any band? No, but... But nothing, girly girl. He's never formed a band in his life. And he never will. If you'll just listen to me for a minute... I'd like to. I'd like to do more than that <laughs> if I had the time. I sure got the uh, inclination. <laughs> but I, uh, I've got to get on that train and I've got to leave this dynamite with somebody on way to the depot. Bye, girly girl. See you next time, though. You'll never make that train at the depot. You'll have to catch it at the crossing. No, sir. I've got to leave word. I can see you ain't the one to leave it wet. Just a minute. Mr. Cowell, you don't know me yet. <laughs> oh, well, is that an invitation? No. I mean, I don't know you, and, uh, well, we... Yeah, I'd, I'd need more time anyway. I mean, as well as I'd like to. Oh, well, no trouble there, girly girl. I've never met a man who sells anvils. That's something, well, quite different. Takes a real salesman, I can tell you that. <gasps> anvils have a uh, limited appeal, you know. 
Oh, what am I doing? I messed that train and I'll get fired. And I've got to leave word about that fellow Hill. Leave word with me. Not on your tight. How do I know I can trust you? Try me. <gasps> There's your train. Now run for it. <gasps> no, why, you double-dealing little... So who do you think you're protecting? That guy's got a girl in every county in Illinois, and he's taking it from every one of them. And that's 102 counties, not counting the piano teachers like you he cozies up to, just to keep their mouths shut. Neither one of you's heard the last of me, girly girl. Good evening, Miss Marianne. Now everyone knows that I'm Madeline! Madeline, who was you talking to just? Why, Professor Hill? Miss Peru. Top of the evening, Miss Marion. You and Marion come up and set. I've got some jelly on the stove. There's no jelly on the stove, Mama. Well, I'll make some. Shall we, uh, set, as your mother said? Well, I... You did ask me to call? Did I? I didn't mean anything. Now, Miss Mary, I'm not suggesting your invitation inferred anything but academic enlightenment. The think system? I've been over to your house to try to explain it to you a time or two, but there always seem to be people around. Mostly ladies, I thought. Yes, Mrs. Squires and several of the ladies. I'm glad. Wouldn't want anyone beating my time. You wouldn't? No, ma'am! Well, uh, it's evidently not the convenient night. I will see you at the sociable later. Professor Hill, is it true you've had a hundred? What I mean to say is... Yes? Is it true you've developed a, a think system? A what? A think... Oh, a think system, yes. Yes, it's um, really quite simple, as simple as whistling. No one has to show you how to use your lips when whistling. You just think of a tune and have it come out clearly. Here. Try it yourself before asking any more questions. I take your word. But we sit. Are all music teachers as dense as I am? All music I teachers? I dare say you meet dozens, even a hundred. Well, I... Have they all been as fascinated as I have with you? The think system? Well, some more, some less. <laughs> One young lady thought of the same idea. Before I got to her town, she showed me a few of her refinements. I see. Have I said something wrong? Please don't let me keep you, Professor. I'm sure you have many more important things to do than explain the think system to me. I couldn't think of one. And I must be very dull company for a man of your experience. Now say, where'd you get an idea like that? One hears rumors of traveling salesmen. Now, Miss Marion, you mustn't believe everything you hear. After all, one even hears rumors about librarians. I suppose you're referring to Uncle Matty. Uncle Matty? Mr. Madison, my father's best friend. No matter what they say, he left me an assured job so Mother and Winthrop and I would have some security. Surely you don't believe- Of course not. That's exactly what I'm saying. And why do you think people start these rumors? Narrow-mindedness, jealousy, jealousy mostly, I guess. Yes, and jealousy usually leads to rumors about traveling salesmen. What have you uh, heard? Oh, oh, nothing about you personally, just generally. What have you heard generally? Just that, but of course it stands to reason that, that jealousy and disappointment can lead to, I mean, take you, for instance, your attentions to customers, and well, teachers might easily be mis misinterpreted, mightn't they? What? I mean, now, honestly, mightn't they? Why? And so you say if another salesman or somebody were jealous, well, they could be downright lies, couldn't they? What could? Rumors oh, and things. Oh, yes, of course. Just shows you should never believe everything you hear. I mean, if you just discuss things. Miss Marion, I'd be delighted to discuss anything in the world with you, but could we please do it sitting down? You do sit. Your knees bend and all. We could sit out on the porch steps. Or we can sit on a large hollow log over at the footbridge. I couldn't think of it. I've never been to the footbridge with a man in my life. Just to talk. I've got to dress for the sociable. Then meet me there in 15 minutes. I just can't. Please, some other time, maybe tomorrow. My dear little librarian. Pile up enough tomorrows and you'll find you've collected nothing but a lot of empty yesterdays. I don't know about you, but I want to make today worth remembering. Oh, so would I.
Then footbridge, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Mama? What? I just told Professor Hill I'd meet him at the footbridge in 15 minutes. Glory be, and save me praise. It works. What does? I've been using the thing system on you from the parlor. Uniforms arrived. Kids are on already. People are gonna be screaming for music when they see those kids show up at the social ball. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here's most of the dough. Got Tommy to collect it. He's trying to keep the kids together, at least. Pretend to hold a practice down at Yard. All right, Mars, get the rig. I got it. What time's the freight go? Uh, 9.40 from the junction. Well, it's not even 8.30 yet. <laughs> Look, you wanna turtle whirtle around here and get yourself caught in a bunny trap, go ahead, but all I'm right, not all right. Look, I'll meet you at the hotel plenty of time. You better. <laughs> Miss Marion, you're late. But you said 15 minutes. Uh, what I meant to say is you're about... 26 years late. Took you all this time to get to the footbridge with a fella. If you want to know the truth, it was almost longer. Oh. Halfway here, I nearly turned back. I suppose I'm not the first to find it easier to think clearly when not under the spell of your salesmanship. No, Miss Marion, surely you don't believe I've been trying to sell you anything? No, you've given me something. That's why I decided to come. I don't recall giving you Oh, anything. yes, you have. Something beautiful. That's why I came, and I'm glad. Oh, please don't be afraid that I expect too much more. One can't expect a traveling salesman to stay put. I know there have been many ports of call, and there will be many more. But that's no reason for me not to be grateful for what you will have left behind for me. Mary and I... There were bells on the hill but I never heard them ringing. No, I never heard them at all till there was you. There were birds in the sky, but I And 
there's a lot of things you don't know about me. Uh, I'm expecting a cable ha from Hector Berlioz. Uh, this could be it if you could excuse me. Now what? Ooh, this salesman here sounds like she's selling in your butt. You nuts. I didn't know I was going to be able to leave tonight. I had to keep her off balance. I told well, you. Well, she's so far balanced, you can't tell her from a cat phone in a hurricane. Listen, Buster Brown, I come up through the ranks on the skirmish, and I'm not resigning without my commission. But, Greg, you can't get anywhere right now. You're on the footbridge. All right, all right. Look, there's this place over at Madison Park near the sociable. It makes this footbridge look like an old lady's home. Now beat it. Go get the rig. <laughs> Never a peaceful moment in the music business. Now, uh, where were we? You were about to tell me what I don't know about you? Yeah, we don't have to do that right now, do we? No, we don't. Or ever, for that matter, Harold. The librarian hasn't felt much like doing research lately, but she did plenty when you first came here. Oh, uh, about what? About Professor Harold Hill, Gary Conservatory of Music, gold medal class of Ought Five. Harold, there wasn't any Gary Conservatory in Ought 5. What? There certainly Because what? the town wasn't even built till Ought 6. I'll see you at the sociable. You knew the whole time? Since July 7th, three days after you came. I tore a page out of the Indiana Journal. It was originally intended to use against you. But now, I give it to you with all my heart. But if you knew, why didn't you? <laughs> why, you little. With 110 cornets played the air, then I modestly took my place as one and only bass, and I oompahed up and down the square. Good night, my someone, Good night, my love. With a hundred and ten cornets close behind. A star is shining its brightest light. There were horns of every shape and sweet dreams be yours, dear, if dreams there be. While a hundred and ten cornets play the air. I wish I may, and I wish I might. Now good night, my someone, good night. Aha! Got you now, you swindling two bit devil bag! Greg! No. Greg, this guy's crazy! He's been going all over town smelling everything! Did ah. Well, I'll tell you, I'm crazy! Missed my train! Probably lost my job! But I've got you now, Hill! And you'll pay! You'd be in the clink right now if I hadn't been for that piano teacher! Try telling her all about you! And what she do? Little gags me round till I couldn't get the shin. Little dried up, man hungry, Daxi, found you open. Get out of here or I'll kill you, you dirty mouth. <laughs> you bully, you big blow up. I won't leave town until you have yours up, down, through and sideways. <laughs> Why, you, you never even knew the territory! <clears throat> I got your stuff, Greg. Greg's in the alley. Come on, hurry up! One Grecian. Earned. Two Grecian urns and a fountain. Trickle, 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 trickle. Stop! Stop! Hold your horses! Stop the caboose, everybody! Listen to this man. You gullible green grass goats! 
Can't you get it through your heads that you're all being swindled out of your eye teeth right now? This minute, there's a burglar in the bedroom while you're fiddling in the parlor. I'm talking about Harold Hill, road agent, highwayman, pickpocket. That's right. He's had his hand in your wallet, mister, and yours, madam, and yours, little lady, ever since the first moment he arrived in this town. I have more documented evidence than you'll ever have time to read. There isn't any band. There never was any band, and there never will be any band. And if you don't hunt this man down right now like a mad dog, there won't be any Harold Hill either. He'll be on the next train out of town. Now will you believe me? Well, what are we waiting for? Yeah. 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 What are we meant to do? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I want him high. Yeah. 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 And when you find him, you bring him here. Him. After him. Wait. Try the low road. Let's yes. go, girl. Try the creek. Try the mill. Back in the creek. Marion, I've been looking everywhere for you. Where have you been? I've been looking for Winthrop. He's run away. Please go, Harold, please. They're even talking about tar and feathers. I had to see you, Marion. It's all right. Don't you know that? You don't owe me a word, not a word. Now, please, hurry. <laughs> Winthrop! Hey, hey, wait a minute here, son. I'm not your son. Let go of me. Not till I talk to you for a minute. I won't listen. You wouldn't tell the truth anyway. I would, too. What to tell you anything you want to know? Can you lead a band? No. Are you a dirty, rotten crook? Yes. You big, fat liar. Yes. Get out of the way, big hey, liar. Hey, hey, what's the matter? You wanted to know the truth, didn't you? Now I'm bigger than you. You're going to stand here and get it all, so you might as well stop wiggling. There are two things you're entitled to know. One, you're a great kid. I thought of that from the first. That's why I wanted you in the band, just so you'd stop moping around and feeling sorry for yourself. What band? I always think there's a band, kid. What's the other thing I'm entitled to know? Well, the other thing isn't any of your business, now that I think of it. I wish you never come to River City. No, you don't, Winthrop. Sister, you believe him? I believe everything he ever said. But he promised I us. I know what he promised us. And it all happened just like he said. The lights and the flags and the colors and the symbols. Where was all that? And the way every kid in this town walked around here all summer and looked and acted, especially you. And the parents too. Does mama wish he'd never come to River City? Well, you do, don't you? No, Winthrop. Now go, Harold, please. Go on, Professor. Hurry up. I can't go, Winthrop. Why not? For the first time in my life, I got my foot caught in the door. There was love all around, but I never heard it singing. No, I never heard it at all, till there was you. Rest assured that this snake in our bosom has been misapprehended by this time. Yes, and always remember that I did everything in my power to stop this dire happening from, uh, happening. Four score.
He's slippery, I told you. He's a kidnapper! Oh my God. Now just a minute. Virtue has triumphed. The sword of retribution has cut down Professor Harold Hill. And if there are those, as I have heard, who are melting tar and collecting feathers, I will not say them nay. Well, I should think there ought to be some of you who could forget our everlasting Iowa stubborn chip on the shoulder arrogance long enough to remember River City before Harold Hill arrived. Do you remember? Well, do you? Surely some of you ought to be grateful to him for what he's brought to River City. And if so, I should think you'd want to admit it. You're wasting a great deal of time here. If there's a person in this town that doesn't believe that this man Hill should be tarred and feathered, let him come forward. You women, sit down. Have you people forgotten how you bought expensive uniforms, technical instruction books, and high-priced band instruments? Have you forgotten the clear understanding and warranty that your children would be taught to play in a band? Well, where's the band? Where's the band? Think, man. Think. Oh! <laughs> 